If there was any doubt that liberal bias exists in the mainstream media, the difference in the recent treatment of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton should remove all doubt. The media's coverage of the Democrat convention was incomplete at best. The dark cloud hanging over the whole convention was the fraudulent primary itself. There we had the Democrat Party celebrating Hillary's nomination just as hacked emails went public exposing the fraud that helped get her there. Where was mention of this? You know if it were true in the GOP we would have heard story after story about it. Did you notice nobody brought up the Clinton Crime Foundation? Not the media, not Chelsea, not Bill, and not Hillary. Could it be because the foundation has proven to be nothing more than a vehicle through which the Clintons have enriched themselves by selling America up the river through offering access and whatever else foreign governments want in exchange for huge amounts of cash and doing it all tax-free? Come on, media. Who are the journalists digging deep into this? Each convention had a family member of a fallen American. The Democrats brought out Kazir Khan, a Muslim who lost his son in the Iraq war that Hillary voted for. The Republicans hosted Pat Smith, who lost her son in Benghazi under Hillary's extreme incompetence. Khan has received over 50 times the media coverage of Smith. Think there's any bias there? And if that's not convincing enough, try this. According to Democrat Pat Cadell, Reuters, in addition to changing their polling formula, went back and moved certain undecided voters into the Hillary camp, propelling her ahead of Donald Trump. Then they went back a week and retroactively changed the poll results, turning the steady rise of Donald Trump during both conventions into Hillary leads. Cadell said, and I quote, They didn't tweak their procedure, they cooked it. Never in my life have I seen a news organization and a supposedly reputable poll do something so dishonest. They made a switch as much as nine points, unquote. The media is so biased, it's criminal. Every election cycle, in addition to taking on the Democrat, the Republican candidate must also fight the media. For just a moment, imagine this election with the media telling you the truth about both sides. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at TheRayWarnerShow.com.